Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to my video. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. It's back to work for most almost everybody. So anyway, let's uh, get to this. Um, this is a, a sample that was sent to me. It's OBD2 for mobile. It's the auto fix. OBD2 for mobile. I'm gonna do a an unboxing and a review of this. And smart OBD2 scanner for mobile and support dual system intelligent. Um, okay, that's all kinds of different languages on that one sentence. I got this before Thanksgiving, but I had. I was pretty busy, so, but I just got around to, I'm just getting around to putting this review out there. But this goes for $25.24. That's what, it's on sale right now, Amazon $25.24. Normally it's like 31 bucks. All right, so these, uh, these, wi these wireless Bluetooth scanners seems to be the big thing these days. Me personally, I am a fan of the tethered kind, the where it's tethered so that I don't have to worry about connection issues. Like I hear from a lot of people who have connection issues. <clears throat> now I did buy one of these because I want to test out my Prius battery and um, the one that I bought. I'm not talking about this in particular, but I bought some cheap brand off of eBay. And that one that I bought had connection problem. I was never able to connect it to my phone. Um, but but the other ones that I've had that I've been, uh, <clears throat> that I've been sent um, have been pretty decent. The, the one for the BMW, which I did a review on, that was that connected immediately. So hopefully uh, this connects immediately. And <clears throat> and uh, these are obviously, you're gonna have to download an app onto your phone. It works with iPhones, it works with Androids. Um, you know, it, uh, let me just go down what it can do. It reads and diagnoses your check engine light. You guys, guys got a check engine light. You guys could uh, scan it, delete it. It'll tell you what it is got freeze frame you can test the o2 sensor i am readiness onboard monitoring evap system test performance tab pretty so if you ever notice any other scan without battery you know so um other good thing about it is you don't have to there's no battery because your car when it when it plugs in uh, the connections work as a battery it's got bluetooth it works on iphones ipads androids um you all cars uh, after all, all all cars with an OBD2 socket, which is probably like all cars after 1995. Um, okay, okay. So we offer you three. It the three-year warranty, nine the 90-day uh, guarantee. It says it has 24 hours after sales service. Well, hopefully it does. Um, but. Check engine light, accurate battery analysis. It analyzes your battery. It, there's a Bluetooth 4.2 connectivity. It's uh, it's supposed to be stable and fast. Uh, error, errorless reading, DTC lookup, instead of just giving you a cryptic uh, description of what a trouble code means. Offering a lot more information on trouble codes, which is really good, guys. Um, it offers, uh, it says it offers info and trouble codes. So instead of giving you a trouble code, it actually gives you like an analysis of what those trouble codes are and uh, what could possibly be causing it, what you could fix it. it. Monitors your driving status and record trip details to protect your driving safety, which, um, you know, which regular OBD 2s do not do. So if you got it connected, it has other, uh, it does other things outside of what an OBD 2 regular. Uh, regular OB2 do, does. A DIY dashboard can show you the features on the dashboard as you want to see. Continuous monitoring will alert you if we have detected a problem with your vehicle, which is a really good thing, guys. You know, you guys could just plug this in, 
and you guys don't don't have to take it out. It'll just be plugged into your car. It'll read all your car's information, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you guys have like a, a a problem with buggy issues that you know that comes and goes, and it's here and it's not there, and you guys can't replicate it. You guys go to take it to the dealership. You can't can't replicate it. Apparently, um, it it reads continuously. Um, performance test the vehicle performs and whether you can detect any problems with its drivetrain brakes or other um, other components um, full OBD2 functions full performance tests including the accurate reading of acceleration braking RPMs VSS etc etc carbon dashboard interface I'm just going back on so it does it, uh, it reads the codes it gives you uh, I, I am readiness which is if you guys do inspections, they'll tell me whether how many monitors need to be um, you need to go before you can take it to uh, get it inspected. Di diagnosis report, evap system test. It, you can guys can clear the codes. You guys have codes. Onboard monitor test, performance test, uh, flash light switch. I don't know what that is. DTC lookup, uh, view freeze frame, battery test, vehicle info, VIN number, and stuff like that. But <clears throat> Um, that's not crazy important, but um, O2 sensor tests, read data stream, to, you know, dashboard functions. All right, guys. So I, I pretty much just went through um, all of it. Um, good things about it. It's more, you know, you don't have a wire, but like I said before, I'm a fan of the wire tethering uh, version of the OBD2s because most of the time you don't have weird... Um, connection problems, but I don't think uh, the new ones have any connection issues. I don't think this one should have any con connection issues. <clears throat> uh, it fits in your battery. You can connect it to the OBD2 port and just keep it there and just, you know, whenever you need it, just open up your app and it'll, and it'll read it. Um, saves you a lot of money, guys. Saves you a lot of guessing. Saves you a lot of money. Saves you a lot of guessing. If you're one of those people... Um, if, you, if you're one of those people who actually, if you're one of those people who don't know too much about cars or codes and codes and stuff like that, you got car issues and you want to save yourself some money or some time instead of going to, you know, the shop and, and leaving your car there, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, you can get information, valid information on this now. So this is what it looks like. <clears throat> This is what it looks like. Um, I like the fact that it has a light at the end, LED lights to tell you whether it's connected or not. Because the cheapy that I bought from eBay, the cheap one that I bought from eBay like a month and a half ago where I, where, where I sent it back, um, that didn't have a light. And I couldn't tell whether it was connected or not. This this is actually not a button. Uh, it I think it automatically, once you plug it in, it automatically sets to pick up uh, the, the, blue, the Bluetooth signal. This light is not a button either. So it's not <clears throat> it's not big, it's not hefty, you don't have to worry about wires and wires hang out here and there. This is what it looks like. And obviously it has a little manual for you guys. Now these are pretty simple as far as you know, a lot of people have these just to read the code because they have a check engine light. They plug it in, they read the codes. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> Bluetooth Connection. No, I gotta get in English. Bluetooth Connection, Bluetooth. Where's the English portion of this? Ah, here's the English portion of this. Nope, that's not it. And let me open this up. I'm pretty sure Bluetooth picks it up immediately once you plug it in. Bluetooth connection. So basically, you turn on the Bluetooth on your phone, you start the app, and uh, there's an automatic device connection. Uh, picture one is not connected. Picture two is connected. It actually shows you on the app whether it's connected or not. After that, you can start to use device. After Bluetooth connection, you would start to run a diagnostic where, you know, if you have a check engine light, a lot of people buy these because they have a check engine light. You can't figure out what the problem is. 
you guys can also update and upgrade the firmware um it's pretty simple so i'm gonna i'm gonna go down you know i'm gonna go down the list of the apps for you i'm gonna download the app and i'm gonna see um uh what it does but if you guys don't know how this works uh it's an obd2 socket you guys connect it to most of the time it's under the steering wheel of your vehicle sometimes it's located on the center console somewhere so it kind of depends on what your car what uh what kind of car you have but <clears throat> but i plugged it in as you guys can see it turns red so it means it's activated all right all right so i started my uh i i clicked on my my bluetooth and automatically it picked it up which is very very good but you gotta download an app for it i'm gonna download an app the auto fix app for this and uh we're gonna just uh get it working so i uh apparently there is a specific uh, auto fix 3210 uh, app for this which is really good I guess right is there like a specific uh, if you guys want you guys could actually scan the code for it the download app with the code um, with the QR code which is what I'm gonna do iOS um, auto fix keyword let's see So as you guys can see, there's various auto fix. There's one for auto fix 3210. There's one for auto fix. I'm just gonna download this auto fix um, app. I'm gonna install it. All right, guys. So very, very, very simple. You guys can see the download as it's happening. <laughs> Why am I not editing this? Don't worry guys, it's gonna take five seconds to install and we're gonna check it out. It's gonna be pretty simple. Gotta tell you guys something, um, it was very automatic as far as Bluetooth picking this up. I have Bluetooth on right now. It says, tap here to switch between homepage and the device, click here to, uh, okay, that's good. Okay, so there's a privacy policy. I agree. Autofix needs to use the following devices Bluetooth. Um, obviously, you gotta agree to that. Autofix needs to use the following location info. Um, so I'm gonna press only this time. Allow Autofix to connect and determine the relative position of the. All right, so. <clears throat> so there it is, guys. Five seconds five seconds and it's a hundred percent connected as you guys can see there is a uh, diagnostics there you can check your battery we're gonna go through a couple of these things let's see uh, it, uh diagnostic uh i'm gonna press that so it, it it'll store your information too but okay i'm gonna allow it <clears throat> initializing recognizing vehicle agreement please wait uh, select a vehicle. <clears throat> Go by default with no prompts. Okay. Um. Off, off, right, off the bat, I, I would hope that they would actually be able to determine the vehicle offhand. I don't really like. Uh, if you guys don't know where the, if you guys don't know where the, uh, where the VIN number is, it's actually. I, I wish they'd have actually uh, been able to, to. Uh, All right, guys. So I really wish that they, this this 
would be able to pick up the uh, VIN by itself and I wouldn't have to type it in because it's a long number. But if you guys don't know where your VIN is, it's on a dash. Not a problem. I mean, I probably wouldn't be using this in like multiple cars if you're like a mechanic. Obviously, this is like a $20 item. So you probably won't be using this on like... Um, um, so... What, what am I? What am I saying? I am ready. This finish zero, unfinished zero. Very, very simple. Trouble codes, zero codes, freeze frame, data, O2 sensors, onboard monitoring test, EVAP system. So you press that, and actually you get this. Uh, it it does. <laughs> So it's running the test right now, guys. Data stream find 38 data, O2 sensors, find seven. I like the fact that this is like very, very thorough. Let me see. So it, it actually finished it, right? It actually, so you got 11 finish, five unfinished. What does that mean? Uh, misfire and monitoring finish mid finish uh, few sense system callus, callus, callus monitoring unfinished heated callus monitoring unfinished evaporative now I did change the battery on my Prius like like recently so I, I, I didn't even drive it that much so actually I changed let me see did I change out I changed out anyway um uh, there you guys go no four codes found freeze frame data data stream uh, calculated load engine coolant temperature 49 degrees intake manifold pressure 100 kpa ignition time advanced for number one cylinder intake air temperature airflow uh lots of good lots of good information here's what i would wish Here's what I would wish for a lot of these OBD2 sensors, right? Um, scanners. I would wish that with all these numbers, they have like another side of it where what the average is, what the average should be. And then you could actually compare it to what the average to see if there's anything off. That's That would be a great thing if they actually had it. Um, but apparently you'd have to get probably a really a lot more expensive um monitor for that but but as you can see ECU calibration ID calibration ID all right so are you sure you want are, are you sure to return so trouble code detecting in progress total detection zero trouble codes data stream dashboard freeze frame let me see. Vehicle self self check trouble code data stream dashboard. Well, this is dashboard. Mm, I don't know exactly what that is. O2 sensors vehicle info. <coughs> mm. What's performance? I don't know what that is. This trip. What else, guys? Um, let me see. ECU one, ECU two. What is this about? <clears throat> I mean, it, it's very, it's very simple to use, guys. What is this trouble code one? Number of trouble codes. What is this? I don't know what the ECU2 is. It might be the, the transmission. It might be either the, it might be, um, what's the truck? Replace hybrid battery pack. All right, guys. So this is for my, um, this is a pending code that's in the system. Um, and I know why it got triggered for my hybrid. It got triggered because, um, because when I put in the battery pack, I didn't screw in one of the bolts tight enough, but I did erase it. I did erase it. So this is a pending uh, code. It's I think the OBD2 is probably, OBD1 is probably what's uh, in the system. Uh, currently, OBD2 is probably like what's pending uh, in the system or what, or not what's pending, but, but more recent codes that were there. But outside of that, 
Uh, I just want to give you guys a little gist of what this can do. Let's check the battery. It'll give you, it'll give you a test out on the battery. 14.8 is very good. It'll give you a reference. Um, and you guys could do the battery test, which I'm not going to do. Remember, center, report, feedback, settings, device settings, language settings, screen settings, about. So, so, um, that's pretty much it for the whole for the app guys that's pretty much it I'm just gonna give you my own personal my own personal opinion about this personally um, you know personally to be honest with you my favorite OBD2 to use is the one I got from Walmart for 19 bucks I have like an OBD2 that I got from Harbor Freight that was like 200 bucks but I bought it for like 60 something on eBay that I use sporadically, but the OBD2, I, when I use it, me personally, because I work on cars, I need something that I can just plug in and it just reads it immediately that I don't need to put in like an, a VIN number, etc., etc. <clears throat> and I just want to give you, and I just need something to just give me a flash, you know, a flash, um, a flash layout of, of what I'm, of, of what, of, of what the car situation is but uh, but for everybody else uh, if you guys don't work in cars this is a great deal thing because if you're the kind of person that actually wants that actually wants um, something that that could be connected to your car all the time and 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 just monitor it and and and, and is something where you could just open up an app and, and and it'll be there this is great guys it's like $25 and I gotta tell you, you can't beat the price. Thirty twenty-five dollars. I actually did buy one of these, like I said, a couple of months ago. Not not the auto fix, but some cheap or knockoff brand. And um, I think I paid like around twenty dollars for that. And that 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 did not wasn't able to connect to my Bluetooth, but this connected immediately. So so uh, I'm gonna get this a thumbs up. And and to be honest with you, like hundred percent honest with you. Um, if if I had the choice of this, because when I was looking for OBD two Bluetooth. Um, dongles before I didn't really know what I was uh, what 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 to get but if, if I actually had this I would definitely have gotten this you know I would definitely have um, have have uh, uh, bought this for, for the price it's a good price um, but like I said I'm, I'm the kind of person that likes to have it tethered I don't need to have like a constant readout of info but but <laughs> But this is this is a pretty good uh, this is a pretty good unit. So um, anyway, also I just want to thank thank all you guys for donating to my, my channel and supporting my channel. Really appreciate that. If you guys have any comments, please leave a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe. All that thumbs up. Really appreciate your time, guys. Okay, take care.